Well, the NFL's international expansion plan has been revealed. Yesterday, we learned, you can see this major update, NFL to play a game in Brazil for the first time in 2024, and they're expanding their international slate starting in 2025. They're doubling it. This is not surprising considering the NFL, Goodell, they've come out, they've said they want a global game, they've want, they want to go to more places. The NFL on Wednesday awarded a 2024, so next year, regular season game to Brazil and voted to expand the slate of international games from four to eight games beginning in 2025. The game in Brazil will be played at Corinthians Arena, which is a very unique stadium in and of itself, originally built for the World Cup in 2014. It's got a capacity up to around 68K, and it's curious when you look at this stadium, it does look like a retractable roof. It's got kind of a weird overhang, but it's not a retractable roof. That's just how it is. That's how most stadiums around the world are built with a lot of coverage, but no retractableness to the roof. So it is an open stadium, and the capacity is slightly lower, but it is expandable up over 60,000. You also have that wide open area and looking at it from the outside in, it is a very weird stadium that I think is going to be very unique for an NFL game there. You know, I was able to find the initial renderings for this stadium all the way back in like 2010 before they changed them a little bit normally with stadiums. Well, I guess they're getting better now, but normally they'll always release initial renderings. It'll change. They'll re-release new renderings and now that I think about it, you see things like Buffalo Bills. Their stadium's been the same this whole time, but they kind of had a different design. Almost looks kind of like a lunchbox. They changed it a little bit, but they still have the kind of the same overhang. As you can see, it's depicted right there. And the only continents the NFL has not gone at this point, once they go to Brazil, will be Africa. And you would think maybe there is a nice stadium in South Africa, but there are safety issues. Maybe they would go to South Africa. And then obviously Antarctica, which is virtually impossible, but the NFL is expanding rapidly when it comes to international games. You go from four to eight. That means every team could be playing an international game starting in 2025 to the point where it just gets banked into the schedule basically every week. There could be a 9.30 a.m. game. They could do the Monday night game in Mexico. I'm guessing the game in Brazil will be on Monday night just based off of the time difference. That's when I'm, I'm thinking they'll do it. Maybe it'll be a Thursday night, uh, but just based off of the time when they go across the pond and you get like the seven or eight hours difference from New York to London, that's when they have to put the game at 9.30 Eastern, which is really in the afternoon in London. Goodell later says becoming a global sport is a major strategical priority for the league and 32 teams. Goodell said in October that the NFL could add another international location as early as next year. And they were talking about Rio de Janeiro, possibly Madrid as well. The NFL also will continue to discuss Spain as a possible location for regular season games in 2025. And you can see since 2005, there have been a total of 50 international regular season games that have been played with the vast majority of them being in London, 36 of them. You do have Toronto sitting with six, Mexico City with five, Frankfurt, they just started going to Germany last year, and then Munich with one. Uh, all hosting NFL teams. As part of the updated resolution approved by the NFL owners, no club will be replaced. No club will be required to play more than one regular season game outside of North America unless they specifically choose to. That relates back to the Jacksonville Jaguars playing multiple games outside. And we might see the Jaguars do it again with their stadium situation because I really want to dive into that. When you look at the Jaguars possibly getting that almost $2 billion stadium renovation, it's really 1.4, but if you factor in the surrounding area getting renovated, it's around $2 billion. You're talking about the Jaguars relocating to a different area for multiple seasons, possibly Camping World Stadium in Orlando, Florida. They would be a very likely team. They would be a very viable option when it comes to playing multiple international games, especially when they're going to be uprooted out of Jacksonville if that stadium rebuild passes 
and obviously they won't be able to play at their stadium as it is under construction. They'll have to very likely go to a different city because there is no big time stadium in the city of Jacksonville. So we will see when it comes to that. But I would say overall, looking at this new system they've got with possibly eight games now overseas, it's going to be one game per team. It's going to be manageable. They're going to bake it into the schedule, and you will very likely get a bye week You know, after you go across. Although, although we have seen sometimes where they don't even do that. They won't even, get, even give a team a bye week even after they come back from London or wherever. Either way, I'm guessing next year you're going to get G- Germany still for multiple games. You're going to get London for multiple games. You're going to get Mexico City with a game. You're going to get Brazil with a game. And then as we get into the late 2020s, they're probably going to even expand it even more to other places around the globe and then the whole idea into the 2030s you start thinking about maybe creating if they wanted to do an expansion which I think right now when you look at the NFL because we're hearing the dialogue with the M- with the NBA definitely with MLB but with the NFL it's a little bit different right now the product is suffering from all these quarterback injuries would it really be a good idea to add two more teams, add two more starting quarterbacks? You know, that that doesn't really make much sense, in my opinion, in terms of expansion. So I think the expansion talk is going to need to be tabled, and it kind of already is. I mean, there's really not a lot of dialogue when it comes to it. I've speculated maybe Toronto, Canada, and Austin, Texas could be two potential options when it comes to the NFL expanding, but you also do have the CBS Sports article that came out about a year and a half ago talking about maybe the NFL is considering doing a European wing where you would put multiple teams in Europe. We remember the whole rumor of possibly the Jaguars moving to London. It was always far-fetched. It was always ridiculous. It wouldn't make sense logistically. The team that would be based in London would be so behind the eight ball in terms of everything, free agency. Nobody would want to play for them because of the travel issues. But if you put multiple teams out there in Europe, the travel will be mitigated. It's kind of like the Big Ten with the four schools out. If you look what the Big Ten's done with their expansion with USC, UCLA, Oregon, and Washington. So we will see when it comes to that, but the NFL expanding to a brand new stadium, and it's an interesting stadium that was originally built for the World Cup back in 2014. They had also had some issues finishing this stadium. Apparently, it wasn't officially complete uh, until two years after they started playing games in it, and there is that open area. This would certainly not fly when it comes to an NFL state-of-the-art facility. It's just, just the way it's designed, you know, with it being wide open like that, and also just a very strange roof design, although we are seeing the Buffalo Bills do something kind of like that with a bit of a roof overhang to their new stadium open. Opening in 2026, it will be open, however, dealing with the snow. Now, there was that crazy rumor earlier this year of possibly putting the Super Bowl in London for a season. I mean, if they were to do that, you would think they'd be really thinking about expansion because what is the, that would be such a neutral site, you know, there'd be so many people that really are just casual fans, you would think that would go to that game if the Super Bowl was in London, and then logistically it'd be a nightmare, especially for people on the West Coast, it's just such a massive time difference, even if you start, you'd have to start the game so late in London, almost at like 9 o'clock local time, and then East Coast, it'd be like 2 o'clock, 11 a.m. It's just logistically, I don't think that's possible. But there was also that rumor as well there. But either way, guys, that is the situation. That is the future structure starting in 2025 now. How long will this remain? It could only be one or two years, and then they might expand it even more. But I would say when it comes to you know possibly one game a week being in London, in Brazil, in Germany, and wherever they decide to go, that seems like a very realistic assumption, and and expanding it more, honestly, is not necessary, considering the ways the games are going to be staggered, things like that. I've always wondered if the NFL would consider moving to kind of a different format. Recently, we've seen a lot more aggressive scheduling, especially in terms of one o'clock games. You know, you'll get a slate where it's like, week three or week four, nobody's on a bye week yet, and you'll still get nine one o'clock games and only three four o'clock games. You wonder if they would spread that out a little bit more. When I was younger, 
I remember them spreading it out. Maybe that's just me misremembering it, but it always seemed like they would have four or five four o'clock games. And now that is a very big rarity, but it does seem like the NFL is trying to fully take over Sunday by starting it off at 9.30 a.m. And some of these other places like Brazil, they might have like a Thursday night game. It might be a Monday night game. We've seen with... Mexico and the altitude there, they have the Monday night game and they have that crazy stadium. That stadium, it looks like it seats 500,000 people. It's a ridiculous upper deck stadium. The Veterans Stadium upper deck, yes, the Veterans Stadium upper deck, but there is that in Mexico. And you know, one final thing I'll say about this, uh, I'm surprised Dublin, Ireland, not on the list for NFL in terms of expansion. Madden used to always push Dublin, Ireland as an expansion option. They were always one of the top options when I used to play. The last Madden game I played was probably like Madden 14 though, maybe Madden 15. Uh, but either way, guys, I, I do think at some point they'll go to Ireland. College football goes to Ireland. They went last year and they're going to start next year as well. But that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.